Hi, I'm Arturia, and this is a tutorial on how to run a stats sheet for customs, analysis, or 5v5s, whatever you want to call it, for League of Legends. And so what is the stat sheet? The stat sheet provides data from the games that you play, and it gives you an average based on player name of their entire time that they've been playing in houses from all their games on this page. And then the nitty gritty details are saved and submitted into this page called matches. Looks kind of daunting at first, but it's really not that difficult to decipher. So all of the things that are important are on the top. So it'll take keep track of things from the API, like if you won or lost, what you played, your items, kill participation, percent gold share, and things like that. And then how you get information into here is that you need to, first of all, create a developer code. So if you just basically Google Riot API, should be the first result that shows up. Click into that. It'll ask you to log in if you haven't logged in already. And then if you don't have an account that is set up with developer code, it's really easy. Just click three buttons. It's very straightforward. And you'll get to this page. And if you're not on that page, you just click API. Uh, if you just click back here, it'll take you here. So you need to have an updated API key. Now, the API key refreshes every 24 hours. So if this is red, then you need to go and refresh it before you input a match. So in order to do that, you just click I'm not a robot, regenerate API key, and then you copy it, copy it, and then you go back to the stats sheet. And if you're an editor, you have access to this button called admin right here in the top left you click it there will be a drop down for add match or update api key you click update api key paste it into here press ok and you're good to go now to add the match i have a match earlier from today that i will be putting in i have it's copy pasted from Discord. So where do you get your link? In order to paste, in order to get the link, you need to have someone who was inside the game go to this link called Match History and they will log in. You can view your recent Match History, view your recent game, and the link will just be whatever is up here. Just copy paste that have them send it to you, or if you have it, take it from there. Now, there's things that are very important about this. You need to have someone who is in the game send you the link because Riot is spaghetti code, and so other people's match histories, especially their customs, are not available to you. So have them send it to you and have them send you a screenshot of the game as well. They could send you the link, and 99% of the time, if you click on it, it'll give you an error or say that it's not available. And 1% of the time, you will be actually be able to see the game, but people's names won't be on there like it is for this one. It will be the champion names only, but you need to know who played those champions. So two very important things you need to have is the link, and a screenshot, okay? a link and a screenshot. Now, once you have that, you go back into here, super easy, copy it, paste it, you click add match, again, under the admin tab, add match, you paste it here, okay? You can leave this blank, this is only for people or developers who have an upgraded API key, okay? You just press OK, and then notice that it'll start auto-populating the information for each player from that specific match, as we can see here. So things to know about custom games is that the player's names will not automatically populate, so you need to do that yourself. So that's where the picture comes in really handy. 
So while this is working, what I like to do is I like to keep a record of everything I do. So I do that here under match history. I just keep a re running record of everything. So that match was this. And then I would also take the picture. I'll just copy paste that now. Copy. And then I would paste it here. And then now that should be done loading. Or close to be done loading. So at this point, I would input their names. So let's go ahead and do that. So brand. Played by Tundra. Morg. Preston. Mordekaiser, Ezreal, Nysa, Johnny three four aspect okay so now that's done you what you need to do now is you notice that there are columns with blue and uh, purple so with the ones in blue, you don't need to worry about those autofill from an array formula. And they're basically just calculated things from the write API. And now, sorry. And now, the ones in purple, what you need to do is you need to drag them down. These formulas are too complicated for Google Sheets to be able to do them, uh, calculate them as an array formula. Or there's some internal issues with the formulas and array formulas. They just don't work well together. So you can either click on the last one and then drag it down, or you can do it for the next one. Click on the last one, Press Control Shift and the down arrow all together at the same time. And once you do that, you want to click, everything's going to be highlighted, and then you could press Control Enter at the same time, and it will autofill. That is for something maybe you have many games that you need to update, and you want to do it all in one go, and it's very long, you don't want to scroll. Super easy. Let's do that. Control Shift down, Control Enter. Now, when you scroll to the back, I did an ELO calculation with this in-house sheet. So the ELO calculation is calculated as per written in Wikipedia. It's just changed to include a 5v5 scenario. And the starting ELO is 1,200, and the value of K is a constant you can change this to be a starting value of maybe 2100 and be able to have a different k value depending on multiple situations. I did try to include variable k uh, constants and it is giving me a little bit of trouble, but if you figure out how you can do it without a circular dependency, then please let me know. Drop down in the comments. I would, or message me on Twitter at Rytria. I would love to hear from you. So go here and then do the same thing for the rest of them. And then if you have a lot of data, I would just press my right arrow key. It will automatically bring me back to the top of the spreadsheet or top of where I had 
all of my where I started my process of dragging down my formulas. So it may look kind of awkward at first, but that's because you haven't filled everything out else out, 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 out yet. Sorry. So I'm gonna wait. Computer is slow, so there. Now that should be correct. Now the thing with this, I did this today, is that if you were to accidentally uh, might have spelled someone's name wrong, you can go back and fix it and everything will be auto updated. So it is self-correcting for your mistakes, I guess, because <laughs> I made a typo earlier and I didn't want to go back and spend hours to redo every single ELO calculation iteratively when I can just have a formula that does it all together. So the only things that really show up and matter here are these two columns. I needed to have these three columns to in order to calculate the new ELO because the, if I put it all together, I tried today, if you put it all together in one formula, it is way too complicated for it to handle. So it was like two lines long. So two or three lines long. It's too much. So yeah, unfortunately, I have not figured out a way to have it all together done in one formula. Okay. So, but if you do, if you figure that out, please let me know as well. I would love to hear from you. So that's basically it. Uh, you're done, and other things are ca other things that can be noted is that if you miss the match or something, you don't have to go and change everything back up. You just want to insert. Maybe I missed the match between here and here. I just go in, press, right click, insert row, and you want to insert ten, and then you just can move that data set from. You would put it in and then you can move it back up to here. You just drag it. You could insert it, copy paste it, or just drag it up to where it needs to be. Now, when you do this, you don't want to mess with the founding 10 uh, columns here because the formulas up top are, they're saved up top in the first column. So you don't want to touch the first uh, 11. So they are kind of like the constants, I guess, if you, that's what you want to call it. So yeah, that's about it. Other things that it tracks is um, ladder, which is by high CLO. So it takes, it's updated, everything is updated in real time as long as you put it in. And also one thing that I added was that you don't need to update this list. This list auto updates with the changes you do in your matches. And the names will turn red if there is a multiple instance. Maybe you spelled someone's name with a capital the first time and not a capital the second time. There's It'll show up red, and then you can go back and fix it if you want. If you don't, it's really whatever. And I will also add a feature where, uh, just to make sure that in case you maybe spelled someone's name wrong, so you don't have to go back and fix it later, is that the names or the, the cell will highlight in red in case it is the first time that it appears. So. It'll be red if it appears, if it's their, their first time they only played one game, or which means maybe you might have spelt it wrong, right? So, um, ladder champion ID is saved here. If you want a list, I have it for champion names, game modes, um, Q modes, the, cause they don't give you, the right API does not pull the names. It only gives you numbers. So, for example, if you're playing solo queue and you want to look up your recent history, I have another spreadsheet for that, um, which should be in my previous videos. But the queue type is also just a number. Like, for example, I think it's like 400 is solo queue or something like that. Um, not sure. 
I have to double check, but you get my point. And then other things that are saved is runes. These is has most of the, I think all of the current ones and some of the ones from previous seasons. Okay, so if you have any questions or something, message me um, on Discord, Rytria number 1618 with a capital R, or at Rytria on Twitter. And if you want to talk about this spreadsheet or talk about the bot that I have linked to this spreadsheet, feel free to message me as well. Um, I guess this ends my, yeah, this is the end of my tutorial. Sorry, it took forever. Um, thanks for watching.